Welcome to Post Time. I'm Heather Vitale. It is our annual Turn Back the Hands of Time to the Delaware State Fair edition of the show. And our focus is Governor's Day, starring Delaware owned or bred harness horses, and starring bragging rights, and big money, and epic battles. We're going to kick it all off with some action. For our first race of the show, let's take a look at the rich $30,000 Charles D. Murphy Memorial Trot. Take it away announcer, Jack Gallagher. There are, there goes Photomax out with Awesome Valley. Those two lead together. That's Man About Town getting away third. Gurf has the rail in fourth, racing up fifth. Brussels Sprout followed by Devoutly Hanover at the end are You Want a Piece of Me and Idle Kemp. They hit the back stretch. Photomax comes out with a two lane lead. Awesome Valley is racing in second, followed by Man About Town. That's Gurf in fourth. Then it's three lengths to Brussels Sprout. Behind Brussels Sprout as they race up the back stretch is Devoutly Hanover. Early trailers, You Want a Piece of Me and Idle Kemp. 28 and two fifths, they race on the far turn. That's Photomax with the lead, but here comes a move up by Gurf as they move midway on the far turn. Photomax, Gurf coming right up alongside. Awesome Valley has the rail in third, followed by Man About Town. They trot over toward the half, and Gurf from the outside wants the lead right now. As they approach the half, Gurf gets clear. Photomax back to second, that's Awesome Valley in third, Man About Town fourth. Outside, Devoutly Hanover gets underway. Brussels Sprout has the rail. Then it's You Want a Piece of Me in a four or five lanes, Idle Kemp. 56 and four, another 28 and two quarter. As they head over toward the back stretch, Gurf a length and a half. Photomax is there, second two lengths in front of Boston Valley, who's third. Still fourth is Man About Town. And then comes Devoutly Hanover. They race up the back stretch, approaching three quarters. Gurf goes by three quarters with the lead of a length and a half and 126. They're on the final turn. It's Gurf. Here comes Awesome Valley to the outside. Photomax has the rail. Dropping back, that's Man About Town with You Want a Piece of Me on the outside to come toward the top of the stretch, turning for home. And Gurf turns home with that length and a half lead. That's Photomax giving chase down the inside, coming through the stretch. Gurf out in the middle of the track with Photomax coming down the rail. Photomax. Photomax down the inside. A double for Vic Kirby. Then it's Gurf. Awesome Valley into Valley Hanover in 156 and 1. Photo Max picked up a victory in 156 and 1 for owner trainer Lauren Allen in the Charles D. Murphy Memorial Trot. Named for a longtime and very influential director of the Delaware State Fair and Harrington Raceway. Photo Max, a nine year old trotter, got a perfect pocket trip with driver Vic Kirby in the sulky. Gurf took second and Awesome Valley was third. Fabulous harness racing action coming up and it's deep fried because you know everything is better deep fried. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Post Time and the Delaware State Fair edition of the show. Today we are taking you on a fast and furious ride. No, not on the Enterprise. We've got crazy, awesome harness racing action from Governor's Day. So strap in and hold on. It's the $30,000 Thurman Adams Jr. Memorial Legislators Cup. 
And as always for this event over the Harrington Raceway Oval, we've got a group of speedy, talented pacing mares. They're off. There goes Fleeting Flirt out for the lead along with I Know Nothing, monochromatic on the far outside. Alice's Restaurant has the rail. Then it's Eyewitness Account dropping in as they make the way around the turn. Fleeting Flirt from the outside up to get the lead. Alice's Restaurant is back to second, followed by Eyewitness Account still outside. Monochromatic being hard used. Now Fleeting Flirt is up to take the lead. Fle make that uh, Alice's Restaurant up to get the lead from Fleeting Flirt. Now Monochromatic is uh, trying to go up and get the lead from Alice's Restaurant. 27 and 2 fifths, they race into the far turn. And it's Alice's Restaurant. Monochromatic is outside, Fleeting Flirt is down at the rail, then comes Eyewitness Account in fourth. Away fifth is I Know Nothing, two more lengths. That's nice and nice, powerful honey. And at the end, I'm one wine wiser coming over toward the half. It's Alice's Restaurant, Park the whole way, Monochromatic. Fleeting Flirt has the rail. Here comes I Know Nothing up on the outside. Eyewitness Account is back to fifth off the rail, nice and nice. And then it's Powerful Honey and I'm one wine wiser. 55 and four fifths. They make the way around the turn toward the back stretch. Alice's Restaurant leads by about a half length. Monochromatic on the outside. Then it's Fleeting Flirt. I Know Nothing is ready to go three wide as they race up the back stretch. Alice's Restaurant three wide. I Know Nothing is up after the leaders as they approach three quarters. I Know Nothing. Alice's Restaurant, Monochromatic still there between horses. Down at the rail is Fleeting Flirt. Outside, Eyewitness Account, three quarters, 125 and one. They race around the final turn and from between horses, Monochromatic has a short lead. Monochromatic, I know nothing, Alice's Restaurant, and uh, down inside, Fleeting Flirt, they come off the turn. Monochromatic's gone about a mile and a sixteenth and has a short lead. They drive for the wire, Monochromatic tons the best to win it. Monochromatic, then it's I know nothing and tight for third between Alice's Restaurant and Powerful Honey, 154 and three. Monochromatic, owned by North State Street Stable, wins her second Legislator Cup in a row. Yes, she was last year's winner of this special race named in honor of Senator Thurman Adams Jr., who was not only a loved public servant, but also a great friend to harness racing. And now in 2013, Monochromatic did it again at the Delaware State Fair with a visit to the winner circle. She was absolutely amazing. The eight-year-old mayor trained by Dylan Davis and driven by Corey Callahan, overcame a tough journey for the 154 and three win. I Know Nothing took the place money and Alice's Restaurant was third. Celebrating with the connections in Victory Lane were several members of our first state legislation. Post Time and the Delaware Harness Racing Community would like to thank them for coming out to support this important agricultural business of harness racing. Welcome back to Post Time. I, uh, I hate to make a pig out of myself. Nothing personal, <laughs> but I just can't get enough of the great fair action from Governor's Day. And even this donut burger is not filling me up. So I hope you're hungry too, because we are going behind the gate right now. All right, let's try this. Yeah, I need both hands. Our next race is sponsored by The Perfect Stitch. Custom embroidery and silk screening at great prices. Shirts, caps, towels, even harness bags. Log on to theperfectstitchde.com or call them at 302-760-9290. In this next event from the Harrington Raceway Oval, it's another ultra-talented group of pacers. Let's go behind the gate for the $20,000 President's Cup. There are, there goes Panfully Cool off of that lead alongside Lollipop Kid, then it's Sir Global Ops Z Tam, Jeremy's successor, on the outside, down toward the rail. 
Cool got away in fifth. Then it's all-star preview on Peachy's Pistol gets away last as they hit the back stretch. Painfully cool. Use the rail. Comes out with the lead. It's a length and a half. Lollipop Kid is there. Caught outside. Jeremy's successor. Sir Globlob Z-Tam has the rail. Two and a half lanes further back to cool. Then there's a gap to all-star preview on Peachy's Pistols at the end. 27 and two-fifths into the far turn. And it's painfully cool. Parked right now is... Jeremy's successor, that's Lollipop Kid, who has the rail in third. Racing fourth, Sir Globalop Z-Tam. They come over toward the top of the stretch the first time. Painfully cool with Jeremy's successor, caught outside. Lollipop Kid has the rail. Sir Globalop Z-Tam comes to the outside. Also out there is All-Star Preview. Cool down the inside, and at the end is Peachy's Pistol. 56 seconds, they race into the clubhouse turn the second time, and it's painfully cool. Lollipop Kid back into second, backing away now. Jeremy's successor force three wide is Sir Globlob Z-Tam. Waiting inside is cool, trying to follow three wide. All-star preview, they're midway up the back stretch, and it's painfully cool. The new challenge comes from Sir Globlob Z-Tam. Lollipop Kid has the good trip in third. Not so good for Jeremy's successor. Three quarters in 125. They're into the final turn. Painfully cool by a half length. Then it's Sir Globalob Z-Tam dropping out of it quickly. Lollipop Kid taking out Cool. They're at the top of the stretch, turning for home. Painfully Cool now opens up two lanes as they come off the turn. It's Painfully Cool with Sir Globalob Z-Tam giving futile chase. Nearing the wire, Painfully Cool is in front. Then it's going to be Sir Globalob Z-Tam and tight for third. Maybe Peachy's pistol over Cool in 154. Handfully Cool, owned by Joanne Looney King and Tom Kemp, went from wire to wire in 154. The 2013 President's Cup winner is conditioned by Jim King Jr. Guiding the five-year-old pacer to victory was Vic Kirby. Joining the huge crowd in victory lane was Harrington Raceway President William Chasnov. To congratulate the connection, Sir Globalop Z-Tam was second, and Peachy's Pistol grabbed the show money. to post time the centerpiece of racing at the Delaware State Fair is the Governor's Cup and it features top Delaware owned or bred horses now I don't have a horse in the Governor's Cup so I can't win part of the $40,000 purse but that Chihuahua has my name written all over it I have to concentrate right now so let's get to this you watch this race and I'll see you in the winner's circle. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the $40,000 Governor's Cup featuring first state standard bred superstars on this special day over the Harrington Half Mile. There are, there goes Sunshine Superman out for that lead. Also moving out is Fancy Free Shark toward the inside. Eagle off, far outside, looking for a spot and getting it in fourth is Malik Ushwad. Restless Native came away in fifth, racing up sixth. That's Charger. At the end, our last shot, Leeton and Catch Me Cullen. They head up the back stretch. Sunshine Superman has the lead. You better take the two hole, Fancy Free Shark. As they go to the quarter, Sunshine Superman will cut it out. Leads by two lengths. The opening quarter was. 27 seconds into the far turn. Sunshine Superman followed by Fancy Free Shark. Two and a half lengths to Eagle All. Then comes Malik Ushwad in fourth, racing fifth. That's Restless Native. Then there's a gap back to Charger. At the end, our last shot, Leeton and Catch Me, Cullen. Field comes by the stands on the way toward the half, and it's Sunshine Superman, a length and a half lead. Fancy Free Shark. Here's Malik Ushwad up on the outside, followed by Restless Native into fourth, back to fifth along the inside. Is Eagle All. Out comes Charger from sixth. 
And the Duluth Trailers are last shot leading. Catch me calling 55 and four fifths. They make the way around the turn toward the back stretch. Sunshine Superman joined by Malik Ushwad. Now those two are heads apart as they hit the back stretch. Malik Ushwad on the outside gets a short lead. Sunshine Superman trying to hold the rail and trying to follow from the outside is Restless Native down toward the inside. Fancy Free Shark. They approach three quarters. Malik Ushwad just ahead. Three quarters. 124 and three fifths into the far turn. And Malik Ushwad now goes by and gets clear of Sunshine Superman who made a break. They move midway on the far turn. And Malik Ushwad is off by five widening lanes at the top of the stretch. Malik Ushwad with the lead. In second is Fancy Free Shark down the inside. Eagle All coming through the stretch. Malik Ushwad is all alone at the wire. Malik Ushwad, Eagle All toward the inside with Fancy Free Shark. Malik Ushwad, Eagle All, Fancy Free Shark, and last shot Leeton. 152 and 3. Malik Uswad, owned and trained by Peter Tritton, had the tough post position of 8. Plus, he journeyed first up against this very talented field. But this big favorite was unstoppable as he crossed the wire seven lengths ahead of the rest of the group in 152 and 3. The 2013 Governor's Cup winner was driven by Tim Tietrich. Eagle All finished second, and Fancy Free Shark picked up third. The Honorable Governor Jack Markell congratulated the happy connections of Malik Uswad and presented the trophy. Let's head over to Assistant General Manager of Harrington Raceway, Matt Spiracino, for an interview with Governor Markell, as well as winning driver Tim Tietrich. We want to welcome you again for another Governor's Day at the races. You're probably an old hat at Governor's Day by now. Tell us about your day. What have you been up to? Well, Carl and I love Governor's Day at the fair. And we especially seeing all the kids, seeing their pride in the animals they've raised and all the things that they've created. Just a wonderful day in Delaware. Love the Delaware State Fair. It's my understanding you also got a behind the scenes look this morning at what the preparation goes involved to getting a horse ready for the races. You got to see a horse swim in our training center. Tell us about that actually got to see two horses swim this morning at the training center. Uh, they look very happy. It looked like a lot of hard work. And uh, it's, what a, it's great for Delaware to have that kind of uh, you know, opportunity right here. Well, Governor, on behalf of the Delaware State Fair and Harrington Raceway, we want to thank you for joining us for the Governor's Day for uh, festivities and hope you'll enjoy the rest of your night here. Thanks very much. I also want to bring in Tim Tietrick, one of the sports top drivers. Timmy, welcome back to Harrington. You just had two drives on today's card. Malak Oswald, one of them. Tell us about him. Oh, he's a super nice horse. He uh, always shows up to work, and you know he likes to win races, and that's what I like. You've got a busy weekend ahead. Tell us about some of the horses and big races you have coming up this weekend. Well, this year I'm very fortunate I get to drive Captain Treacherous, the best three-year-old colt in the country right now. Uh, market share, the best older trotter. He just uh, went a qualifier, actually, in 50 in a piece. Uh, and he, he's a horse that might break the 50 barrier, and I look forward to that. Hopefully he's got a shot to do that. Well, those horses' names are a lot easier to win to say than the one that just won. Do you know what Malak Aswad means? No, I don't. I'm told it means black chief in Lebanese, but Peter Tritton said we'll need a dictionary to verify that. Timmy, congratulations on the win and continued to success. Thanks. Always happy to come to Harrington on fair day, and uh, they always put on a great show. Thank you, Timmy. Yeah, how did Tim Tietrich get a chauffeur? Everybody else has to drive themselves on the golf cart. What's up with that? <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> Back to post time. This and I'll see you in the winner's circle. <laughs> so close. <laughs> this centerpiece of oh sorry of Governor's Day here on Governor's Day. Oh shoot. Prize every time. That Chihuahua has my name written all over it. Okay, I'm gonna have to concentrate right now. <laughs> Maybe concentrate a little bit harder. Leave me alone, watch the race. I'll see you in the winter circle. 